Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest XI Echoes of an Elusive Age. This is Speaker, and we are on episode 7 right now. And here's what's happened so far if you've missed the last 6 episodes. After a death-defying leap from a dizzying clifftop, Axis and Eric have finally managed to escape the gaggle of Healy Dorian guards pursuing them. Having spent some time recovering at a small local church, they resolve to sneak back to Axis's home of Cobblestone taking a roundabout route in the hopes of avoiding the indefatigable Hendrick. But before guiding our hero homeward, Eric asks that he accompany him to downtown Heliodor, where there's something he needs to get his hands on. Their agreement struck, the two new companions take off towards the city's seedy underbelly. Once there, Eric explains that the something he's seeking is the Red Orb, an incredible heirloom of the Heliodorian royal family. However, it is no longer where he left it. The only other person who knew where it was hidden was Dirk, Eric's old partner in crime, so the plucky pair set out to track down this elusive outlaw. Anyways, how are you guys all doing today? I've had a bit of a rough week in terms of me being ill, but I am feeling quite a bit better now, so first thing I wanted to do was record some games for you guys. And I'm quickly going to go to the armor shop. Don't need to go to the weapon shop right about now. It's just the armor shop where we need to grab some stuff. Mainly for Eric. Because he can't use shields because of him being a roguelike character. Which is a bit of a pain to be honest. Grab the leather armor for them both though. And I will grab it for Eric as well now because he needs as much defense as he can get without having the lovely, lovely shields around. Anyways, let's now grab the shield for Axis since he can actually use one. As shown by the pot lid. Um, anyways. Wait, what? Ah, frack. I am an idiot. Axes, pot lid, leather shield. There we go. And now let's actually go and continue on with the story, shall we? <laughs> we shall. Seeing as this is the only two flawed establishment in downtown Heliodor, this has to be where the story continues. It's me, Eric. There's <laughs> something I need to ask you. Ruby runs the place. Looks like she's not around, but if anyone knows where Dirk is, it's her. Which means we'll have to... Whoops. So here's the plan. There's a tower they use to look out for fires. You're going to climb up there and keep an eye out for Ruby. I'll check a couple of other spots. Don't worry, you can't miss her. She's the only redhead in town. I was about to say, how was how is Axis meant to know what she looks like if she's never they've never met before, but he gives the explanation. I'm being the only redhead in town. Wow. Tart. Is this guy a drunk or has he just fallen down? I've not actually seen that text before. Quite like it. Smash. Smash. Hulk, smash, and only one of them actually had anything in it. Great fun. I need to remember how to do any of this stuff because. There we go, there's a ladder. It's totally not like I haven't been in this area for over a month. Well, apart from the recordings, but that's slightly different. Get out of here! Go on!
good dog. Good doggy, stay. <laughs> oh god, I remember that part. <laughs> it just makes me laugh, like Jesus Christ. Good dog, good dog. Ah! Uh, can't find Ruby anywhere. How about you? Any luck? You saw her heading back to the inn? Great! Let's head over there and find out what she knows. Well, if it isn't my favorite landlady. You always did like to sail close to the wind. Don't worry, I won't be here long. I just need to know where Dirk is. Have you seen him? Dirk, eh? Now there's a name I ain't heard in a while. Didn't he open some fancy shop up by the castle? Yeah, that was it. Raking in the cash he is, or so they say. That can't be right. The rent up there is crazy. Where would he find the money? Wait a second. He sold it, didn't he? The rat sold the damned orb. Look, in this part of town, you don't go asking too many questions. You know that. If you want more, you'll have to get it from the horse's mouth. You're right. Thanks, Ruby. I appreciate it. We'll get out of your head. No good traitor! I'll bet he sold me out and sold the ore. And all so he could move up in the world. Well, I'll get what I'm owed. You'll see. <sighs> but we'll need to get past that sentry if we're gonna head uptown and find him. Wait, isn't he... hearing that one of the guards is terrified of dogs. I think it was him. Maybe we can borrow one of somebody. All right, so in that little cutscene, the first part with Ruby, she used the term tea leaf. In Cockney rhyming slang, which is something used in a certain, I think it's the south end of London, sort of the south or the east end of Oh, it's definitely the south. Yeah. There's, they have this dialect called Cockney. And certain things, certain phrases, per se, are... They rhyme with the certain words. So, for example, apples and pears equals stairs, for some reason. But with tea leaf, which is what she used, tea leaf is actually the... Cockney Romy slang of the word thief. When she said that she is that he is his her favourite little tea leaf, she meant that he's her favourite little thief. Just so you know. <laughs> nice one, Bullseye. That great big coward of a guard nearly weed himself when he saw you. What do you think you're staring at, eh? Get lost. You what? You wanna borrow my dog? You're in a giraffe, ain't you? Look, I ain't got time for this. Go on, sling your rook. Right, again, there's Cockney rhyming slang in that. You're having a giraffe means you're having a laugh. Just for you Americans out there. All I hear is a lone wolf like me. You don't take kindly to strangers. Ah, but you know what? Some only water and a buzzberry or two might change his mind. What are you gawping at me like that for? It ain't like I'm asking much. Just go on and shake the tree and grab some berries, innit? Go out of town, walk down the walkway finger straight on. Big tree, funny berries on it. Bosh. And as for holy water, well, that's easy. Buy it from a shop. And remember, 
I didn't say only water uh, or buzzberries. I want them both. Otherwise, no deal. Right, let's see. If I have the buzzberries, I think I do. Possibly. Somewhere. Right? Hey, I have the duck. I have the blah, 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 blah. I have the buzzberries. I can actually talk for once. It'd be helpful. <laughs> um, yeah, as I was saying, they, there's a cockney around this slang, so you're having a giraffe as you're having a laugh. Apples and pears, stairs, favourite tea leaf equals thief. I need to buy some holy water. I'll buy two just because I want one myself. And item bag is going to have it. And I am going to quickly grind up a little bit. Simply because I need the money. It's always the money at the moment for me that I need more than anything else. And since I'm not very far into the game, there aren't many enemies that will give me a lot of money. Annoyingly enough. More gold and time to shake the tree so I can get buzzberries. One of them's going to be chimera, I think, isn't it? A flurry feather. There's one or the other. Now to actually complete the quest. I love these game. I love the songs in this game so much. Like, it's not even a joke. It's Ah. to the nice part of town. My job is to protect respectable people from being bothered by rebel and riffraff. In other words, you... Wow, talk about rolling your ass. Sorry, I couldn't help that. <laughs> now to head up to where all the rich folks live and find out what the heck Dirk thinks he's up to. Oh, I couldn't help laughing at that. <laughs> just, just the guard's reaction. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Eastern Back Alley. We have been here in the past. Where I got lost over and over and over again. It's just my fault entirely at this point. Let me get up there, thank you very much. There is a pot. Flurry feather. I was hoping it'd be something much better because of the boxes and such you have to climb to get there. Oh well. Flurry feather would be useful later on. It's Gossip. And I love how that guard is so freaking dumb. <laughs> um. Oh, hello. Yep, the evening breeze always does seem to be quite nice. Just in general, in real life as well. For the most part. Let's quickly check something a moment. Wait a couple more minutes. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot that I had to go. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Ah! Did it wrong. Up, 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 up. Climb. Do, 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 do. So, I think it was at eight. Yes, 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 yes. Because this is where I got lost when I first did it. I was like, where? Why? Where do I even go at this point? And Dirk's shop is either this one, I think? Yeah! Is it? No. Ah, this must be a restaurant of some sort. Right. Wrong shop. Sorry, guys. <laughs> ah, it's this one. Definitely, definitely. Certain of it. There we go. <laughs> wow, nice place you got here. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to browse. You'll find we only stock the very finest wares. <gasps> Because I'm looking for something very special indeed. Happen to have any orbs in stock? Uh, Eric! Long time no see, old pal. Uh, <laughs> Eric! My, my brother! My compadre! My, my partner in crime! It's, oh, it's really oh, you! Large as life and oh, fighting fit! I'm so oh, happy to see you! You have no shame, huh? Get your backstabbing hands off of me! You always were full of it, Dirk. But this really takes the cake. Admit it. You sold me out and sold the orb so you could buy this place, didn't you? I never! I promise you, I never sold you out. I was worried sick about you. I only opened this place to try and help you. Oh, yeah. And how does that work, exactly? How does you opening this place and lining your pockets while I rot in jail help me? Look, I was never much of a thief. You know that. But it turns out I know how to sell stuff. I got a gift, even if I do say so myself. When you got nabbed, I spent months racking my brains for ways of busting you out. I couldn't stand the thought of you being in there. In the end, I realized I'd have to give up the orb. I took it to the king, told him I found it somewhere, and pocketed the reward. Then I used the cash to open up the shop here and poured all my profits into bribing the guards up at the castle so they'd let you escape. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I did think it was weird they never tossed my cell the whole time I was digging that hole. Exactly! I was paying them to turn a blind eye, weren't I? <laughs> <sighs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I doubted you, partner. That's the spirit. Eric, old pal, it's so good to have you back. But I need that orb. And now we don't even know where it is. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> So, 
Where is it? After I handed over the orb, I made sure to keep my ears to the ground about where it ended up. I knew it was important to you, see? Well, a little bird tells me that Endrick and his men took it to the King's Barrow, and it's been under lock and key there ever since. The King's Barrow, huh? Mm -hmm. That's southeast of town. Same direction as Cobblestone. Which means we can kill two birds with one stone. You coming, Dirk? A little adventure for old times' sake? Sorry, no can do. I've got a shop to run. I'm a married man these days. Married? Wow, you really have changed. Well, you always said you wanted to settle down and maybe go into business someday. I'm happy for you. We'd better get going. Take care, Dirk, and thanks for everything. You too, old pal. Be lucky, eh? And don't you two go doing anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> the South Gate is crawling with guards. We won't be walking out that way. And Hendrick's men are too uptight to take bribes. I guess we'll have to go the long way round. If we skirt round the hills to the south, we should be able to approach the King's Barrow from the other side. We can drop into Cobblestone on the way. Okay, let's head back downtown. Watch yourselves out there, eh? They don't call that forest round there the Mangle Grove for nothing. There's plenty going there and never come out. <laughs> It'll take more than a few kids' stories to scare us off. And besides, it's the only way to get there. Ah. <sighs> I love old friends coming back to rekindle their long lost friendship. Although it wasn't really that that happened, was it? <laughs> Anyways, but it's always interesting to see where people end up, in my opinion. And this is where we are going to end off the episode for today, guys. Or well, this time, anyway. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't be scared to give it a thumbs up, give it a like, a comment, and maybe even subscribe. This has been Pika, and I am signing out for now.